Audiences worldwide won't see Star Wars Attack of the Clones until May 16th. But one internet film reporter saw the movie without the approval of Lucasfilm or Fox. Everyone knows a little about Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. There is war, of course, a romance between Anakin Skywalker and Queen Amidala, and Anakin takes the first dark steps in his transformation to you-know-who. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant. You're not all powerful. Well, I should be. Someday I will be the most powerful Jedi ever. But thanks to a super secret screening last week, one internet reporter knows everything about episode two. When I saw that I was actually watching film, one, I was shocked because of the size of the scoop that it would have been. And two, I was thrilled to see that it was actually a really like wonderful fly. film. But Knowles doesn't well, want to spoil the story. He did spill the beans on a few scenes in the rough cut he saw, though, one being a lightsaber duel involving Yoda. He is in a fight, and it isn't stupid. When it happened on, on screen, I, I just started, like, getting giddy because I couldn't believe that they not only were able to do it, but they were able to do it and make it look cool. But what we really want to know is Jar Jar back? There's just a, a brief no, no, glimmer of Jar Jar, and actually Jar Jar's character in the film serves a very strong purpose for this story, as opposed to the first one when he was just sort of around in every scene, like where's Walda? Overall, Noel says, believe the hype about this chapter of the Star Wars saga. Knowles also likes heartwarming scenes between Django Fett and his son Boba in the movie. Django teaches his son how to be a bounty hunter.